Web parts have a modular design, so for example, the web parts you see on this particular web part page, you know, this is a web part that uh, they could be on any web part page. This is a link web part. If I go to one of the web part pages on which um, of the OSIsoft RT web parts are, you'll see that these web parts, they're modular as well. These are meant to be reusable on different, uh, different web part pages. I've got a batch table web part, a tree view web part. RT values, this is a trend web part. And you know, once I've learned how to configure this one trend web part, of course I can use it over and over again uh, different uh, on different RT web part pages or different web part pages. So it, they're meant to be modular. Uh, they're basically the building blocks of a web part page. And they're going to have certain common properties. So for example, if I go into RT, the RT trend web part, I modify it, you'll notice there's certain things like the the title, the height, the width. These are all part of the builder screen over here. Yeah. These are things that are all common that to all web parts. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, if we look at the appearance, the title, the height, the width, etc. But then in addition to those things that are common to all web parts, there are some custom properties. And of course, uh, that's mostly what you're going to be dealing with with the RT web parts. Uh, these uh, these are all custom properties: start time, end time, uh, the uh, the data source, you know, the scaling, etc. These are all things that are going to be unique to that particular web part. So, uh, again, to summarize, the RT web parts, like any web part, is a, a module of reusable code. It's something that you can use over and over again, and uh, they share uh, typically common properties and then some custom properties for specific types of web parts.